you are awesome. RPG in a Box is awesome. So let's get going. We're picking up right where we left off in the voxel editor. So let's open up RPG in a Box and get to work. Today we're going to start looking at the voxel editor's toolbar. This big bunch of buttons up here, starting with the New Resource button. This will open up the New Resource dialog. The Type is a drop-down which lets you select the type of the new resource. Tile, object, or character will open in the voxel editor because they're all voxel models, while selecting map, script, or dialog will open that asset in the relative editor. So map will create a map in the map editor. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to create a new object and call it tutorial. Next on the toolbar, we have the save icon. Save saves changes to the currently open model. This option will be grayed out if you don't have any changes to save. So let's change the grid dimensions of the model so that we can save it. When you do have unsaved changes, there'll be an asterisk next to the model name. You can also save using Control S as a hotkey. Next is Save As, which is denoted by an icon with two floppy disks. This saves a copy of the model to a new file. This is great for creating different versions of a model, such as a broken variant or a color change, or just if you want to mess around with a model without any fear of overwriting the original. Click Save As, and you can come up with a new title. So, Tutorial Copy. The icon that looks like a folder with a voxel in front of it is Import from External Format. It opens the Import dialog, which allows you to import data from magicavoxel.vox files, cubicle.qb files, or a PNG. Importing a PNG will import a single plane of voxels on the back of your model relative to your camera's direction. So for example, you want to create a floor tile make sure that your camera is rotated and facing the floor before importing. Now we can import and it will be on the ground. The model that you import will be imported into the currently opened model. So make sure to create a new blank model of an appropriate size before importing. If you're importing from a sprite sheet, there's also a handy offset function for importing. So by default, when I import this Sarah sprite sheet, which I will put up on the screen so you can see the sprite sheet in its entirety now, it will give me the Sarah on the upper left corner. But let's say I want the third Sarah on the bottom row. Her sprite starts at 32 pixels from the left and 20 pixels down. So using the offset function, I will put 32 for the first number, 20 for the second, and voila, that's the Sarah that I wanted. Export to external format opens the export dialog, allowing you to export the model to magicavoxel.vox file or a PNG image. Exporting as a PNG will essentially give you a 2D sprite as viewed from the front of the model. You can select a specific range of frames to export, and each frame will be saved as a separate PNG image. Next up are the two green arrows, undo and redo keys. Undo will revert the most recent modification made to your model. You can also use the hotkey Control Z, while redo reapplies the last modification that was undone. You can use hotkey Control Y. That's all for the toolbar for today, but we'll be coming back and looking at more of RPG in a Box, its voxel editor, and its toolbar very soon. Thank you for coming and learning with me, and have an awesome day. Bye-bye!